Welcome back everyone, my name is Meza and today, today, we're going to be busy. But before we get into that, let me show you something. I've spent the night AFKing at the slime farm again and I was testing, hello, <laughs> I was testing if the Wandering Trader proofing has worked and I'm happy to report that it indeed worked, which is fantastic. But above all, after two nights of AFKing at the slime farm, we have this many slime blocks. How cool is that? Also, I must mention that I've joined the new fashion trend and I have a nice little cape. Oh yeah. You can also join the caped crew if you follow the directions in your Minecraft launcher to migrate your account to a Microsoft account. With that out of the way, let's get on to today's shenanigans. We're going to need some moss carpets. We're going to need some moss blocks, some bone meal, wood, probably some sand. And now let's go and head over to our mine. We're going to be tinkering in the mine today and I need to put in some security measures. We need to prevent mobs from coming in while we're just in this general area. So I thought that we're going to replace these two blocks with carpets. And instead of carpets, we're going to use moss. Like so, that should disable the AI. They wouldn't be able to pathfind through there. And then the next order of business is that we need to make this look less bad. There we go, that's much better. And let's go and sprinkle some of this moss around the area because that carpet entrance right now looks really weird in this environment. Hey, that, that looks better, no? Maybe? Who knows? I've also realized that I've built this mineshaft entrance a bit too close to the actual mine entrance, so we need to push that back a bit, widen it, make it pretty. And for that, I need space. I need to dig it out. And I think I probably went a bit overboard and dug out way more than I needed, but that not. I have some plans. I don't know if we're going to get to them today, but I have some really cool things planned with this base. I think what's going to happen is I need more stone. Do I have more stone here? No, no stone, no stone, 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 stone. I know that we've put, there it is, there's stone. Did I put more stone here? No, that's cobblestone. Do I have stone here? Yes, very good. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this as the side of our staircase. And I want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is how wide the entrance is going to be. Now you see why I had to dig deep in that way, because this itself is going to be just the entrance going down. And then we're going to do something clever over here. I kind of want to make it a bit taller. Let's make it a bit taller. Oh God, this is going to cost me so much time, but I want to make it taller. Okay, how tall is this? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I like that. I might regret this, but you know what? We're going to add in stairs. We're going to add in all sorts of things. So this might actually not be as high as it looks. And just like that, with the power of editing, ta-da! This, this took me about two hours, but look, this is perfect. Really nice lighting a good glide down and it takes us all the way down to diamond level and diamond level did it take us to all right look at this ripe for the taking so let's do it i got my fortune three pickaxe oh yes yes give it to me give me all the shiny oh that is awesome 14 diamonds Yes, 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 yes. I'm also a proud owner of 31 levels, so let's go and do something about it. Last time I checked, the book should have Unbreaking 3 on it. Perfect. Let's get some lapis. Unbreaking 3 book. Fantastic. Let's go and put it on our pickaxe, and that is shaping up to be one nice pickaxe. Anvil. Pickaxe. Book. Ooh, look at that. Efficiency four, fortune three, unbreaking three. Now we're ready for branch mining. Are we really though? Because uh, there's this. Hold on. I think I heard a wandering trader. Where are you? Hey, hello? Oh, hey, that's not a wandering trader. Hi. Okay, let's test our, our defenses. Come on. Come on. Can you follow me? Hello? <laughs> You're an idiot. This is what being clever gets you. Horror. Boom, you're back to business. So the middle three is going to be where the stairs go. Over here, we're going to have a minecart track on both sides. But for that, I, I kind of think that I want to hide it. And what I was thinking is that wherever you have the lanterns, we're going to have these fence posts like that. 
okay? So that the light can come through. And then we can also peek through and see the minecarts going up and down. That's how far my thinking, <laughs> that's how far my thinking's gone. I have a bunch of blocks at my disposal. I have some mossy cobblestone bricks. I have some stone bricks. I have some cobblestone walls. I have some stone brick walls. I have some andesite walls. And I kind of want to experiment with this. I think we can try here. Something like this, you know, bringing this out. Putting something down there. Can we even put that there? Like an andesite wall. And then what can we do here? Maybe we just have a pillar? Huh? And then another one going through. Oh, these don't connect. Oh, these don't connect. I'll bring you back when I figure something out. So between the previous clip and this clip, there's been approximately two weeks that have gone by. I think I've reached my first mental block with this series. And let me tell you what that was. So I was trying to make this perfect. And that's not it. I shouldn't want to make this perfect. I just need to practice. So what I started doing to get myself out of the mental block is to do it iteratively. So I've I've built these up. I've built the supports. I have a few rules of thumb that I want to follow. I want to have light come through here. So we know that we want to have these fence posts over here. And I know that I want to see past it. We're going to have minecarts running up and down over here. I want to be able to see the minecarts going up and down. And that's how far my thinking has gone. So instead of agonizing here for more, I thought that we're just going to build it. It's going to look ugly. Then we're going to see what is going to look ugly in this. And then we can figure out how to fix it. So that the next time when we do something like this, it'll just work. We'll learn. This is a learning experience. I don't need to force myself to make the perfect thing. We're practicing. And that's why we're here. God, took me two weeks to get past this. So with that out of the way, this is our new tunnel. It's repetitive. It's ugly, but it, it's a tunnel. So what do you think? I, I think that I need help and I think I need some of your help. So here's my, here's my idea. Down in the description below, you'll find a link to a build server. You can jump on that build server and show me your ideas. Take these dimensions and, you know, show me what you think would go well here. And if I like one, then uh, I'll make it happen. Okay, just join into that server, claim a plot and build something. And let's see what you guys come up with, because I'm pretty sure that a lot of you are much better at this than I am. So let's, you know, let's band together and let's figure it all out. And also you might notice some new tools in my inventory. That is because ah, we need to have a chat. We need to have a chat. I've, I've done some work off cam. You see, right after finishing that stairway down, I got sick. I couldn't use my voice for a very long time. It wasn't your average cold. It wasn't COVID, but it was a cold that just didn't want to go away. But it gave me time to do some branch mining in preparation of some of the projects that we want to do. And it also gave me time to reflect on this series. I was getting into this mindset of that I have to upload every single week because the YouTube algorithm and the blah, blah, blah. I don't want to care because that's what takes a passion and turns it into a job. I don't want this to be a job. I want to enjoy making this content. I want to enjoy playing in this world and I want to be able to keep this up for the years to come. So therefore, my idea is that I'm going to put out a video when a video is ready. I'm not going to stress about it. I hope you understand and support me regardless. Back to the content. So the really cool thing about branch mining for a while is that I have a bunch of resources right now that I can use. And also, I've got a bunch of shinies. Look at all the iron, that diamond, the, the redstone, the coal. I'm ready to build. I have a project because I don't really like this storage unit. I think this is fine for a bit, but everyone knows if you've branch mined for a while, you know that you end up with a bunch of junk. So what I want to do is I want to get this up towards the door and I want it sorted. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to build a transport system and we're going to build a sorting system. I think the first part of any design is going to be figuring out the user interface. So what I want to do here is if I'm mining a new branch, let's say I'm at the other end, I'm mining a new branch. I want to come out from that branch over here and drop off the goodies and those goodies should go and get sorted out. All right, what do you think? Sunken one or the hanging one? I kind of like the hanging one. I think it gives a bit more interest. I quite like the way it looks. It's going to be awesome. We're just going to need a crap ton of hoppers and we're going to need a crap ton of chests. Oh, I didn't think this one through properly and we haven't even started the storage system, which I'm pretty sure is going to need a lot of hoppers and a lot of chests. 
<laughs> I've decided to not worry about this problem right now and we're going to deal with the transport system that's taking the items all the way up to the door. One side is going to be going up and the other one is going to be down and I'm kind of facing an interesting dilemma. I don't know if I need to build chest minecarts or do I need hopper minecarts? Uh, let's experiment! After some experimentations in a creative world, it turns out that the hopper minecarts are twice as fast. If you're interested in this experiment, look for the hidden episode. Now that we're considerably smarter, let's build this thing. We're going to start by putting in the stairs and putting them in the correct way. Adding in the chests, finishing up the hopper line, and then correcting all the mistakes that I've made. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do this interface here. Coming from here onto that side, we're probably going to have to replace this. So I'm not going to worry about this section right now. We're going to go up and we're going to build our storage system. Uh, give me a second. There we go. Now we can finally build our storage system. And I need chests for that. Chests, 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 chests. Here's a bunch of chests. And we're going to do an interesting design over here. We could have a silo, but I personally don't really like the silo build. So I think what we're going to do is start off from the other end is just tile this backwards. All right, we could definitely do this. This is going to be our main storage system. Each of these stacks is going to be one specific item. I know it's not much, but you know what? As an output storage system for some mining, this should do well, I guess. Maybe the next order of business, we need to figure out how to put the sorting system in. So what we want is hoppers going into these chests, right? Because this is going to be the input to the storage system, which means that we need to put a sorting system on top of this which means that we're going to be needing hoppers up here, right? We're going to need the hoppers, the sorting hoppers over here. We need to make this pretty, don't we? It's not something that I can do after the fact. All right, all right, let's go and get some materials. I'm guessing you've all seen sorting systems before. Nothing spectacular going on here. Just your stock standard Impulse SV sorting system. Moving on. Now we need to figure out how we're going to get the minecarts all the way up to here. And the minecarts, uh, oh, my knees, will come out somewhere here. And then they need to go over up there. I'm guessing that we could use rails to just climb all the way up there. But where's the fun in that? I've got a better idea. All right, hear me out. Hear me out. Don't judge. Don't judge. What if we have a minecart up to here? And then we would just have a water column going up there taking the minecart to the height that we want. Hmm. All right, soul sand there, which means that we're going to have water going up there. Having a fence on this side is going to stop the water from coming out here. Now the question is, how are we going to stop the water coming out from here without it looking bad? Hmm. We're making progress. Okay, I like it. I think we're getting somewhere. Look, a nice little pulley system. Mm-hmm. Not bad for a first draft, what do you think? Let's see, we're gonna test this. Put down a minecart, and up it goes, goes around, and uh, yeah, we'll connect that one up later. Okay, this is step one. So now, here's the next issue. When we're bringing stuff from downstairs, it's going to be sucking out of the chest down there without a hopper. It's going to be a double at the hopper speed, but here, we're going to have an unload station somewhere over there. That is going to be hopper speed, which means that we're probably going to get minecarts coming up twice as fast as going back. So what I want to figure out here is how to have some sort of a minecart buffer system so that we would only send something through here once it's finished unloading there. We're going to figure that out. All right, first experiment and no. Next experiment. Uh, too bulky. Still too bulky. Ah, uh, maybe this is the one. Hello? Yep. Yes. Yes. Of course it works. It's not my design. You have to give me credit for this one though. Look at that piston action. I figured this one out all by myself. To be fair, I had no idea that you can actually stack minecarts without any extra help. This was my solution and I'm proud of it. 
Look how cool it looks. Huh? Although it, it is too bulky and noisy and completely unnecessary, but it is cool. The embarrassing learning doesn't end there. We actually have to figure out how to build that thing into the space that we have. The most important thing is going to be figuring out where to put the fence gate. Hey, Torch, you're going to be in the way. There. And if the gate is here, I believe that we can then put the tripwire here. I think this will work. We have a nice little guiding chute for the minecart. Now we need to figure out the opening mechanism. And I believe it all begins with a redstone torch right there. By the way, the design that we're building is by Cobblestone and Dirt. I will link the original video down in the description below. Please go and give that video a big like. And while you're there, give my video one too. It's one thing to copy a design and it's another thing to understand it. I think I've managed to figure out what's going on here. We need to build a dropper-based RS gnaw latch. This is all that's to it, nothing more. Uh, the sword is not in the top one now, the sword is in the bottom, which means that the whole system is locked. You can trigger the tripwire, nothing's going to happen. But if you trigger the bottom one with say a button or a minecart rail, a detector rail, then the door opens and it's open for new minecarts. That's it. It's super simple, super compact, and I'm very happy with it. The output of this system is going to be here. We just need to power this. Easy. Probably need to cover it up as well. Sorted. And now let's give it a quick test. Let's see what happens. Minecart comes up here, goes up there, lands in the chute, and fantastic. Now this is locked because we have that down there. And if we would open it up, I don't have the button anymore, but I can make one. Would come through and lock again. Fantastic. I'm actually super happy with this. All that's remaining, we need to take the minecart back up, over around, build an unloader, get the minecart to come down and go all the way back. And the minecart is going to roll all the way back here and then carry on its journey. Now, what we need to figure out is how this minecart is going to trigger this dropper. And I have a plan. We're going to break this. We're going to break these two just to make them not interfere. Put one there, put one there. Put one there, fantastic. Grab our lovely redstone and we're done. I think that uh, this is it, let's give it a test. We're going to put this minecart into the system so it should load up in there on the right now. Yes, it's closed, fantastic. So if we put this through the system, the wrong way, come back. Bye. Well, this is a quicker way up. So we get it, oh, oh, too late, too late, too late. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're testing the system. Oh, how am I going to get out? <laughs> I can't believe I just did this. How stupid do I need to be to do this? <laughs> do you think that I could open the door from here? Eh. Oh, no. I just broke something. Th there we go. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to die here. I'm going to die here. Oh, no. Here we go. We go down and we're good. Now I can come out. <laughs> okay, what did I break? I think I broke the, the, the string here. Let's put it back. Yes, thank you. Fantastic. Okay, this is working. I can't believe it. Oh. Okay, so that I've opened manually. Let's close it back. Um, Round two. <laughs> One thing for sure. We know that the system works. <laughs> Let's not mess it up this time around. Push that cart in, up it goes, over around, and it lands on the gate. Fantastic. So now if a cart comes through, that opens, that goes up, comes all the way back in, and I could just turn this off, and it would land there. Fantastic. It works. After all these shenanigans, it finally works. I just can't believe it. We're not done though. Not in the slightest. We have to put the loader in place in the bottom. But before we get down there, I want to address something. Minecraft 1.18 is out. So the next episode of this show is going to be, you guessed it, in 1.18. That, that's just exciting. So, minecart loader. I'm going to put another stacker into here. We're going to hook it up with this output, and then we're going to send minecarts going up that way. I am in the process of digging out the hole that is needed. This area is probably dug out by mistake. 
Um, I've started by putting in the chest that is going to be the output of this. Now it's a bit offset because I want to put the stacker into the wall over here. And if, for that to fit, it had to be here. So it is what it is. And now all of the logic is going to come in here right after I clean this area from all these hard to clear out blocks. Gosh, I need a better pick. I have now hooked up the minecart to go inside and come through this chute here. The chute is here too. The tripwire is in place, the drop is in place. Now for the logic part. For that, I need to run home because I don't have a target block. And I don't think I've ever made one in vanilla Minecraft. Chickens! The world is once again saved from the chicken menace. All right, hey Bill, hey Bill, hey Bill. Do I actually have wheat or did I make bread out of it? Oh, I do have hay bales. How does one make a target block? Uh, just like that. Back we go. If you were wondering where I was getting my wood from, eh, it's here. This I made this. This is my personal little tree farm. It's nothing official. I just planted a few saplings just because I needed some wood. Okay, leave me alone. I still like the way that this turned out. We're going to spruce up the entire area over here. And by sprucing up, I don't mean this. We're going to make it pretty. Putting in the last pieces to the end gate. This should function. Let's test it. Grab a lever, turn that on. It's still off. And in theory, if I turn this on, that works. Amazing. The cart release is ready. Now it just needs to get hooked up to the end gate. I should do it. This actually made me realize that this whole thing is wider than it needs to be. Am I going to rebuild it? I am. I am going to rebuild it. Give me a second. The release has been rebuilt and it's much more snug now. Look. Putting in a rising edge mono stable circuit that will detect if an empty chest gets new items. And then we just need to run this line over here. On top of that, through this, down here and into this line. The missing piece of the puzzle is connecting up to the other side of our AND gate. And what we're going to do there is grab a repeater or a comparator and just do this. We can fix this by putting in another repeater over there. And then everything's going to be all right. Listen, I'm going to be the first one to admit that this right here behind me is ugly. And we're going to make this pretty I just don't know how yet. If you're interested in this contraption in a bit more detail, I've discussed this in the extra episode. And while the previous extra episodes were really well hidden in the videos, uh, this time around, the link to the extra episode is going to be in the notification channel on my Discord server. Find the announcement of this video and it will be there in a reply or a thread. You'll find it. One more thing left to do. We need to hook this up with this other end of the rail. So let's just mine a hole. I don't actually know how we're going to do this, although we might just do the exact same thing that we did here. So poke a hole in there, poke a hole in there. And I think that completes our circuit. I think that we're ready for a test run. Let's go and make all the mine cards and let's start. Oh! <gasps> The sorting system. I have finally loaded these up with all the filters and all the items that we're about to be collecting from here. And this last one is empty. We'll figure something out what to put in here. And everything that isn't filtered is going to be flowing down into these chests. And that's it. Well, let's load the system up. In order to get rid of this chest monster, what we need to do is take the outputs from that chest into this, right? Moment of truth, when I hook this up, the whole system becomes live. This should now be filling up. Yes, amazing. So now the system is draining into this chest. This will eventually start working its magic and then it will go up to where it needs to be. Oh, this is fantastic news. And it would be even more fantastic news if I actually made this work and I didn't. Okay. <laughs> it's late. Okay. It's late. That should work. Yes. There. But now this won't work. <sighs> I finally fixed it and up it goes. Yes. Now, where are they? 
So I've messed up multiple things. The first one is that this is off. And I think the second one is that we need to let the first one pass. Can we just do this? Yes, we can. That should now be in there. Loading. And we should be seeing, yes, it works. It actually works. I'm so happy now. I'm over the moon with this and I have some ideas and we're going to decorate this and it's going to be pretty and it's going to be awesome, but not this episode because this one is over. Bye-bye.